Beyonce is someone I think you guys are going to like, everyone. She's an absolute. And really, we're going to cover one of her albums. So, you probably heard her at some point. If you don't know even further, she's also in Destiny's Child, which um, an R&B group pretty much around the year 1999 or so. Not really. They had like a sure shot bunch of songs, but by the time they actually got like their mainstream album and they were probably going to chart with every song they released, um, Beyonce went solo. She had, a, she had some things that accompanied this. She was also in Austin Powers. She was in she was in a bunch of she was in movies. I guess she filmed them somewhere in 2005. Because when she came back with this album, B Day, it was just kind of like a malaise effect. I don't know. I, I'm, it's not really malaise, it's just kind of weird. I can't really think of the word. Um, I want to say warped. It's something that has, it just feels like a dream, you know, like really it feels like a dream, it's the, the type of thing of that, you know, I remember when Beyonce came out summer 2006 and hearing the song Deja Vu, and the, the, the thing about it is it's not a breakout single, if you remember the song Dangerously in Love, or crazy in love, it's not quite as explosive as that song, but it is still, it's it's, it's obviously good enough to hit the top of the charts, so, you know, the reason why I think it's just because Beyonce kind of, it, it just feels lazier, but at the same time, it's not something that's not skillful, so... I guess the emphasis is just on the fact that I can hit this without trying. I don't know if this is the case. I don't really know if, you know, like, it's hard for me to guess the, um, the pace of the song. But it, it, that's the difference to me between songs that you're going to hear on the air. So she took different directions this time. She actually mastered a song that's not a club song and it's a pretty decent ballad um, but you know like I will say that it's you, know, you just have to listen by what you want this album's a winner by, by all means and you know, I kind of look at this as like a slicker alternative to Sierra both of these women make good dancing records, and that's one of the main reasons why I chose it, is because you get the, you know, if you're like me, and you prefer this shadier type music with a hint of horror to it, um, you know, obviously, you're going to need some records when you're around females. So, there's a number of people this actually goes with, and like it or not, Beyonce is one of those people. But, um, really, I think, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. You know, that's the, the biggest thing about this record, is that she has, she has a certain talent, but we'll get into that. We're going to talk about whether or not you can smoke to it. The answer is there's actually some songs on here that you can smoke to. Beyonce is kind of more of a mainstream type person, so there's not really that much emphasis, but I would recommend Upgrade You, Freak of Dress, Get Me Bodied, and um, possibly Green Light. No, Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat. No, there are some good ones to. Now, if you're wondering why did they all have emphasis on, you know, people in your life, I will say that, um, I'm going to 
say that they They're good. They're good songs, but you know they just don't have like the smoking sense to them. So you just have to create it. The production is good to the point where you can say that I enjoy that you enjoy that. But all right, the production. This is like the same thing. Sugar Mama is a really good one. It's kind of left field a bit, but it's still, you know, you might like it. Upgrade View is one of the best. Ring the Alarm, you would think that one kind of has, sound. it does sound like an alarm and everything, but this didn't quite do it enough. Frequent Dress does. Irreplaceable sounds like a makeshift song. And, you know, you probably heard Deja Vu. Now the unheard songs. So the theme of this is that Beyonce, I think you know, she was 24, 25 when she made this. So it was kind of different than just the initial reaction to the relationship that she was in. So you get like songs that are more detailed than they were when the first thing started happening. And What that means is now that you now that she's comfortable, we get to see a new side of her character. And so what does she do? What are her thoughts? And are they good? You know, these are just some of the things, but they're clever and everything. But to me this works as a surprising winner. If you're just trying to be around people, you just want to have some fun with you know, females, women. If, you, if you're looking for that, it works well. There's radio songs, there's dancing songs, there's seductive songs, there's jealous songs. You know, there, there's just everything that you would look for in that. But, um, the only thing is, I'm just trying to think about it. Really, this works for me because you know, if I ever decide to go out dancing or something like that, I'm finish my coffee. I'm gonna take like a last sip. Um, yeah, frappuccino. I do drink those. Um, so. What you get on this record is just a lot of, I've said it before, but the thing is, is it's just good dance material, and, you know, Beyonce pretty much nailed the album cut down, because the album cut that I like more than the, 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 the radio, you know, the song that you might have heard. So I like 7 out of 10 songs on this record. Deja Vu, Get Me Body, Sugar Mama, Upgrade You, Freakum Dress, Green Light, and Kitty Cat. I did not like Ring the Alarm because the production just wasn't quite good enough. Irreplaceable was too, had too much malaise to it. This general, you know, the word for it. Um, can't think of it. <laughs> There's just too much fatigue in that song, and resentment was a ballad that didn't work. So, but the other ones, I think you'll like Sugar Mama. It's a real good song. It just, it's like a song that you get wild to, and you realize how good it actually is later on. So, that's something to do. Upgrade you sound and freaking dress sound like nighttime song just going out so it is getting the body green lights kind of like a, a, a hot you know, friendlier dance song and um, yeah get me body is just good you know, that's kind of 
jump. So these are the songs. Like I said, Beyonce has gotten better at an album cut, and it just it's a real cohesive piece of work. So get that. You're just gonna have to sum up everything I said because I could talk about this for a good twenty five minutes. Um, yeah. When we look at other things, I mean, of course, Sierra is another good one. I'm thinking about a couple other R&B females to look into. I have the Adele CD. I'm unaware if I'm going to do it just because it's really kind of a makeshift CD. I'm not trying to, you know, get up on that, but we'll see. So I recommend this album. It's going to get a 10. Definitely gets a 10 out of 10. It's because so many songs are blockbusters, and they, you know, they definitely work. The future. I mean, Beyonce dropped an album a couple years ago, but one thing I forgot to mention, which I feel like mentioning on this release, is that this is really kind of ground level. This just feels as if, like. She, she did. You know, Sierra was the reason why I picked her was because this her stuff. It just feels like she's some girl out. I think she's from Atlanta. Just some regular city girl who goes dancing at clubs. You know, it's as simple as having friends and hanging out in the backyard and going to a dance club and meeting your next boyfriend. It's real ground level stuff. It's not necessarily talking about that you're looking for some more money or a hummer. You know, just you're capable of talking about things. And it felt like Beyonce was doing that on this record, so it's, it's a winner. Um, is, is this album social? I'm going to give it a 10 social just because lots of people know Beyonce. She's pretty much built in that space to where even people who don't like rap or R&B would probably know one or two songs from Beyonce. And if you can do that, you can realize that some more of them are actually good. So this is, you know, she's probably at the top shelf when it comes to R&B. So just remember that. Um, can it be top? Probably not. So just look for that. I give this album 10s across the board. Subscribe for more fun.